Finally, and most importantly, what could we expect to see from an economic perspective if silver were to double in value? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. Today, I want to talk about silver and what it would mean if the spot price were to double. Really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today I wanna to talk about the spot price of silver and what it would mean or what could happen if we were to see it double over an extended period of time. Now, as I'm recording today's video, the spot price is $24.15. Now, first grade math tells me if that were to double, it would be $48.30. So what I wanna talk about today is a variety of different things. Number one, I wanna talk about can it happen? Is it possible? Number two, I wanna talk about if it can happen, how fast will it happen? Number three, I wanna talk about some of the different industrial uses of silver that could cause the value to go up and up and up over time. And then finally, I wanna talk about the economic perspective. So first, let's talk about whether or not silver could climb from $24.15 to $48. Is it possible? Yes, it absolutely is. Number one, because theoretically, anything's possible, but two, and most importantly, we already know for a fact that it's possible because we already know for a fact that it's happened before. Silver's already gone to $48.30. We've already seen those numbers. We already know that it's possible. Metaphorically speaking, if it happened yesterday, it can happen again tomorrow. Now, I'm not literally talking about yesterday and tomorrow, but the last time silver was in the $45 to $50 range, was not even 10 years ago. It wasn't even that long ago. I'm not talking about something that happened for 45 seconds back in the 70s. I'm talking about something that happened not even a decade ago. And with the way things are going, with the way we appear to be headed at the moment, it would not surprise me at all if we were to see silver climb back up to the $48 range. Now, I wanna talk about, since we already know that it's possible that it can happen, Will it happen fast? This is something that I get asked a lot. A lot of people comment on my videos and when I would live stream, people would always ask me, hey, when do you think silver's gonna hit $50? Do you think it's gonna happen before the end of the year? Do you think it's gonna happen early next year? Do you think this is gonna happen? Do you think that's gonna happen? Now, truth be told, I'm not one of those guys that are sitting here with my fingers crossed hoping for it to shoot to the moon anytime in the near future. I don't want that to happen because I wanna get as much of it as I possibly can. But fact of the matter is, there's not necessarily a shortage of silver. Now this year, a lot of people thought that there was a shortage of silver. That wasn't exactly the case. There was no shortage of silver. There was a shortage of silver being mined. And because there was a shortage of silver being mined, there was a shortage of silver being produced. Coins, rounds, and bars were being minted significantly less than they were really any year in the past but there was no shortage of silver. There's plenty of silver out there. We're gonna be digging up and mining plenty of silver for years, decades to come. So there's no real issue when it comes to the supply, when we're talking about supply and demand, but the demand has actually gone down this year. All of the different industries and corporations and different sectors that rely on silver so heavily, due to the lockdowns, including mining companies. A lot of silver mines were on lockdown, but more importantly, the companies that are demanding for silver, keeping the silver mining companies afloat, the companies that need the silver and buy the silver, a lot of them reduced operations or seized productions altogether this year because of everything going on. So, even though it appeared that there might have been a shortage of silver, which wasn't actually the case, the demand was chopped down this year. And a lot of people were doing a whole lot less spending this year because money's been tight for absolutely everyone. Even rich people were struggling this year. That's how you know that there's a problem. But in all actuality, 
I don't necessarily think that it's going to be a very quick jump from the $24 range to the $48 range. I think it's going to be a slow, gradual rise over an extended period of time. I would like to see silver grow at a very healthy rate. I wouldn't want silver to automatically jump up in value, multiplying by two or three. I wouldn't want it to double, triple, quadruple in value over a very short period of time. Because if we look at anything else in the world, and this is something that's really important to remember, if something goes up with rapid speed, it could come down just as fast. That's important to remember. If silver were to go from 24 to $48 within the next couple of months, please keep in the back of your head that that 48 can go right back to 24 just as quick. So that's not necessarily something that I don't think anybody wants unless they're stacking silver for potentially the wrong reason. But moving forward away from that, I would like to see a slow, gradual rise, and I believe that is what we are, in fact, going to see. And I think once it gets to the 48 to $50 range, when it had that slow, gradual growth, I think we can actually see 45 to $50 silver consistently. I don't think it's going to go up to $45, $50 just to later come back down. The way that we've been seeing silver in the 23 24 $25 range for these last couple of months and how we saw silver in the teens for several years, I think we can actually get to the point where $45, $50 an ounce silver is the new normal. I definitely think that's possible, and I definitely think we are going to get to that point, in my opinion and from my perspective. Not a professional, not a financial advisor. I'm a guy with a camera, so don't take this as financial advice. Do your own research, form your own opinion, make your own decisions based off of your conclusions, not mine. Now, third, I want to talk about the different industrial uses of silver. So for those of you who do not know, silver has more than 10,000 different uses in all of these different fields, all of these different industries, all of these different sectors. Silver is an unbelievably versatile metal. It's the most reflective metal that there is. It's the greatest conductor of heat and electricity. It's used in batteries, cars, photography, medicine, solar panels, silverware, and surprise, surprise, the biggest player in the global silver demand would be the jewelry industry, which, by the way, in case you didn't know, requires hundreds of millions of ounces of silver. These are the big dogs. These are the big guys. They blow all of us out of the water. What are we picking up? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 ounces of silver a month at most? These guys are getting hundreds of millions of ounces of silver. We don't even scratch the surface. Even as a collective, an army of people that are stacking silver can't even compete with that. So with that being the case, silver is very important. Silver is definitely needed. Silver is always going to be in demand. It's not just high in demand from just one place. Silver's all over the place. Silver has all these different uses. Silver has so many different jobs. If you were to take one job away from it, it doesn't matter because it still has over 9,999 more. I don't believe silver's going anywhere. I don't think that there's ever going to be something to replace silver. Now, that is something that has come up in the past. Some people have suggested. Some people have asked me. Some people have talked about how, what if... They discover an alternative to silver, something that's cheaper. Maybe there's more of it. We actually saw this happen with platinum and palladium, not to say that one was discovered and put the other one out of business, but all these car companies were using platinum for so long, and platinum at the time was more expensive than palladium was, and they actually switched on over to palladium, and now palladium's up higher than platinum is. And a lot of these companies are talking about potentially switching back to platinum. So that's kind of what I'm referring to when I'm talking about this right here. Is there going to be a silver alternative that's cheaper? In my opinion, probably not. But I wouldn't rule it out. It could be possible. But there's no way in the world that it would even be a fraction of how versatile silver is. Something could take the place of silver for 
one or two or a handful of different areas, but there's no way in the world that we'll ever be able to compete with silver with how versatile and all over the place silver is. Now, finally, and most importantly, what could we expect to see from an economic perspective if silver were to double in value? Number one, I think it's important to remember, I know I say all of the time that typically when currency gets weaker, real true money gets stronger, but it's also important to remember that the spot price of silver should not be seen as a direct reflection of the state of the economy. If silver went up 25%, that doesn't inherently mean that the purchasing power of the dollar bill went down by 25%. You shouldn't look at it that way. But it could absolutely be an indicator or the foreshadowing of what's to come. That's how I see it. That's how I've seen it for this entire year. I mean, for example, yeah. When everything came crashing down earlier this year, we saw silver begin to take off a little bit. But fact of the matter is, it didn't do anything all that crazy. Silver was $18 before it fell on its face and then bounced. Sure, it climbed almost all the way up to 30 bucks. It was $29 and change at its highest this year. However, it started to trickle back down. We saw a healthy pullback, and we saw silver stabilize around the $24 mark. Sure, we saw a $25, it went down to $23, last week it went down to $22, but here we are today, back up to $24. So it seems as though the mid-20s is potentially the new normal for silver, at least for the time being. I would be very surprised if we saw silver climb drastically over the next year or so and i would also be surprised if we saw silver go back down to below 20 bucks i personally don't think we're ever going to see 20 dollars silver again now trust me i hope to god i'm wrong i hope i'm incorrect about that i would love to see silver go back down to the 20 or 19 or 18 dollar range that would be fantastic i mean hey while we're at it let it go down to 15 dollars or 14 13 dollars again that'd be great as well in my opinion, I don't think it's going to happen. But it would be great if I end up being wrong. But moving forward, when it comes to the state of the economy and the spot price of silver, they're not necessarily synonymous. They're not necessarily a direct reflection of one another. Like I said, they could be an indicator. It could be the foreshadowing. Or it could be a little bit of a red flag if we see one crash and the other one not moving. We could say to ourselves, okay, we got to keep our eyes over here because if this came crashing down, that could mean it could be one of the variety of reasons, one of the variety of factors that lead to this over here taking off. And by the way, if the shoe were on the other foot, if silver were to come crashing down, if silver went down to $13 again, if silver went down to $12, $11, $10, $9 an ounce, I know I'm using crazy numbers over here, but if that were to happen, that wouldn't inherently mean that the economy is booming necessarily, but it could be a little bit of an indicator of what's to come, like I said. So with the spot price of silver being where it is right now at the moment, it's almost as if silver is stuck in limbo. Silver has plenty of reasons for it to be driven up. It has plenty of reasons for it to be plowed down. And yet for some strange reason, it's been floating in the $24 range for months. Now when I say it has plenty of reasons to be going up, plenty of reasons to be going down, keep in mind it's not just because of the general state of the economy. Yes, the state of the economy is one of the factors, but the spot price of silver is determined by an entire list of factors, and every factor on the list has a separate list of sub-factors. Silver is dictated by so many things. It is not possible to say that this one particular thing is going on, therefore silver is going to do this. That's not how it works. A lot of people say that with a potential second stimulus, you know, the second stimulus that they've been hanging over our heads for the last four, five, six, seven months now, they're saying that if we actually do see a second round of stimulus checks, it's going to cause silver to be driven up. That's not 
how it works. A second round of stimulus checks, or potentially in the future, a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth round of stimulus checks, however long this nonsense is going to last for, like I said, that is one factor on the list of factors, and each factor has a separate list of sub-factors. The unemployment rates, the lockdowns, the vaccines, everything that's going on in all of these different industries that rely on silver, these are all examples of factors that play a role in causing the spot price of silver to go up or to go down. But like I said, it seems to be stuck in limbo right now. Silver has not moved much at all. Silver hasn't done anything newsworthy in the last couple of months. Last time silver was doing something that was newsworthy was earlier this year when it was making all types of moves. Silver nearly got sliced in half in March of this year, and pr practically everything got sliced in half. But when silver went down from the $18 range to the $12 range somewhere, not exactly in half, but almost, that made news. Everyone started talking about silver. And guess what? When it started to climb back up, there was a lot of hype. There was a lot of excitement. All of the people who are controlled by the fear of missing out, all of these people who make emotional decisions were buying in and paying crazy high premiums and driving up the premiums for the rest of us. And what did we see when silver made its comeback, when it got back to the $18 range? It climbed all the way back up to $18, right where it left off before it fell down. What did we see? We saw it keep going. It went to $19, then it went to $20 for the first time in, I think, six or seven years. That's when silver started to make headlines. That's when all of these news outlets, and I saw all of these articles coming out, and I saw interviews about it. A lot of people were talking about how silver surpassed the $20 mark. When it cracked 20 bucks. that's when everyone started talking about it because silver is a very slept-on metal. Silver is the underdog, I would say. There's a lot of people out there who stack silver. There's people that used to stack silver for like three weeks and they didn't turn into a millionaire so all of a sudden they say silver is a terrible horrible thing there's a lot of people who have a lot of negative things to say about silver there's a lot of people who hate silver with a burning passion and yet every single day they're clicking on silver videos and listening to people talk about silver and engaging in conversation with people about how much they hate silver so i would say they're probably a fan of silver in denial but that's a story for a different video point being is that everyone was talking about silver the people who love silver, the people who hate silver, the people who didn't even know about silver, they learned about silver because of the headlines and because of everything that everyone's been saying. Everyone was talking about silver. And then we saw it go to $21, $23, $25, $27, $29. Silver was making all types of headlines. Silver was making the news. Silver was shocking the world, but it wasn't because of any one specific thing in particular. I think it's because of everything that was going on earlier this year into the middle of this year. And I'm hoping and praying, I got my fingers crossed over here, that we make a speedy recovery. That's me being optimistic. At the same time, let's try to be realistic. It's going to take a little while. It's going to take you know blood, sweat, and tears. It's going to take hard work to get back on track. I think the entire year of 2021 is going to be hopefully as productive as possible and i hope we make as much progress as we possibly can that way maybe by early to mid 2022 we'll make our comeback we'll be back on track we'll bounce back to where we were although i was watching some videos and reading through some articles many are actually saying that things might not go back to the way they were until as early as 2024 so Again, I'm trying to balance between optimistic and realistic over here, but I'm curious, everyone watching this video right now, what are your thoughts on the spot price of silver? What do you think could happen that could drive the value of silver up to the $48 to $50 range? And if that were to occur, do you think it would happen fast? And whether or not you think it would happen fast or slow or whatever, if and when it gets to that point, what do you think it's going to mean from an economic perspective? perspective. Again, we're talking about the spot price of the beautiful precious metal. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, 
my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a bunch of different websites. And of course you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations. And of course, the limited edition DYDSS Christmas line, which is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, only available until Christmas, so get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what do you think of the possibility of the spot price of silver doubling? What if the value of silver were to go from the $24 range to the $48 range? Do you think that it can happen? We already know that it happened in the past. Do you think that it'll happen again? If so, how quickly do you think it will climb from $24 to $48? Do you think it's something that's going to occur sometime in the next couple of months, the next year or so? Do you think it's going to be something that's going to happen later down the road, years, decades down the road, kind of like how I feel? When it comes to all of the different industrial uses, do you think that those play the biggest role in determining the spot price of silver? And from an economic perspective, what do you think that $48 silver would mean for the general state of the economy? Do you think that the purchasing power of the dollar bill will have completely plummeted by then? Do you think that that would mean that unemployment is sky high? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.